This quick movie will show you how to set password protection for your domain in a few steps. Setting password protection for a particular directory of your domain includes a few simple steps that you can see listed here. First, you need to log into your web hosting control panel. Do this through the control panel login link in the top right corner of the page. Now, you need to fill in your account's username and password in the members area login form. First enter the username and then the password. Press the login button to jump straight to your control panel. OK, you have completed the first step. Next you need to navigate to the URL protect and redirect section of the control panel. Once in the control panel index page, click your mouse on the URL protect and redirect icon, located on the right side of the management section. We are ready with the second step. Now let's see how to password protect a specific folder of your domain. In the password protected areas panel, you will have to set a few options. First, enter the username for the password protected folder. Then type and retype the password that you wish to use. Next, select the domain name for the folder you wish to protect from the drop down menu. Now specify the exact path of the protected folder. This can either be the main domain folder or any of its subfolders. For your convenience, use the browse button to directly select the folder to be protected. Now select the folder you wish to protect from the list and hit its choose and close button to apply the selection. Back in the password protected areas panel, Click the Enable Protection button to apply all the activated password protection for the selected folders. The green pop-up message will confirm for you that the password protection has been set successfully. You can see the protected folder listed in the Password Protected Areas table. In case you wish to update the password for the protected folder, click on the Change Password icon. To remove a certain unnecessary protected folder, use the delete icon option, but be careful when using this. And that's it, now you know how to set password protection for your domain.